Welcome to my channel, All for Health with Jane. Family, there are things that can never be a joke on anyone. Body shaming is one of them. In this video, we are going to watch and listen to Una Tinkai as she sets Musa Kaula straight after he offended her by body shaming her. Let's watch and listen to Unati. I wasn't going to do a video about this because I don't like giving weak men attention. But I realize it's Mother's Day on Sunday and a lot of mothers get body shamed for the fact that we can create life in our tummies, bring up life in our tummies and give life from our tummies. And ladies, I want you to know that it's only weak men who can ever body shame us for being the miracles that we are. And also body shame us for something that they are physically incapable of being and doing. So I want to ask a question to the man who body shamed me and wrote flat tummy, but you can see it's gone through a lot. I want to ask you as Sunday approaches and it's Mother's Day, do you think of the mother of the man that you've been accused of murdering, Musa Kaula? Do you think of Wandila Kaunda's mother at all? As you think it's okay to just go around body shaming people? Body shaming people for things that you physically can never ever be. Because we have nothing in common. In fact, we have one thing in common. We both have legal issues. Mine is to seek justice. Yours. You're being accused of being a murderer. Mm, I, this is sad. This is very sad. Family, let's check what uh, the comments are saying from Unati's followers. Glenn Mukwena says, You consider Mosa Kaula a man? I don't consider him human to begin with. And uh, Tabiso says, Mosa Kaula is not a man. On behalf of the Council of Men, we do not recognize a Musa as one of us. Yo, yeah. And then let's check, let's check the other comments from Unati's followers. Here we see Bob Vandal says, I feel so ashamed every day to be a man in this country due to obvious reasons. So please, OC, don't give attention to gimmicks. Please, you are a good woman. Don't waste your energy, please. This one says, he definitely does not deserve your time and energy, sis. Nonetheless, well said and poignantly so. We give thanks to God for you, our queens, for the miracle of allowing us to descend into this realm through your precious temples. We salute you. These are men that can think positive of women. Men like this, they know and understand how important women are uh, in this world. Then the next one says, um, Nkosi. Nkosi says, that Musa person is not stable. I don't think he deserves a reaction to anything he says. He just says uh, uh, mean things about anyone for no reason. Nkosi, I definitely agree with you. You know, Musa says anything at any time. You know, he does not even care what you feel, how you feel. It's none of his business. And Divine Nkuna says, why would you give him this much power? Yes, he is weak and gets stronger every time you recognize him. What Divine says here is that if we can learn to ignore Mosa, we will be disempowering him because Mosa gets more power when we give him our attention. So maybe we need to ignore him as we are being advised. 
when when she say uh, i mean he says anything about you you just ignore him unfortunately somewhere it's us women who loves who enjoys whenever mosa a uh, 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 body shames other people whenever Mosa speaks bad about other people. And the more we laugh, the more we enjoy her, uh, her jokes, you know, he becomes empowered. So by ignoring him, that might help. Because once he's aware, no one is paying attention uh, uh, to him, maybe Mosa might stop doing what he is doing. Family, thank you very much for watching this video to the end. And please do not, do not forget to like it. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet. I love you very much. Let's meet on my next upload. Bye.